Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Genetis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Welcome back to my clinical biochemistry playlist. After finishing the discussion of the carbohydrate metabolism disorders, such as the disorders of fructose metabolism and the diseases of galactose metabolism, we turned our attention to proteins and amino acids. The last videos were about alkaptonuria and phenylketonuria, PKU. Today, it's time to talk about tyrosinemia. What does emia mean? Blood. And who's tyrosine? One of the amino acids. Tyrosinemia is an ugly disease that can lead to liver failure if it's not diagnosed and managed properly. Liver failure on the course of years of years and years can lead to liver cancer. Liver and kidney. When one of them is upset, the other is unpleased as well. Please watch the videos in this clinical biochemistry playlist in order. In previous videos, we said that the diet is carbs, proteins, or fat. The protein metabolism will give me amino acids. The big guys, the small guys. Amino acids are here, build up, up, up proteins. If I want to go the other way, break down, down, down amino acids. Why do we call them amino acids? Because they have an amino group and a carboxylic acid group, amino acid. Do you remember the 20 proteogenic amino acids that you have? Each one has a name, one letter abbreviation, and a three letter abbreviation. Today, we're concerned with phenylalanine, right here, and tyrosine. Remember, phenylalanine is essential. You have to eat it in your diet because your body cannot make it. However, tyrosine is semi-essential or conditionally essential which means normally you do not have to eat it because your body can make tyrosine from phenylalanine. But in the last video, we talked about phenylketonuria. These patients cannot convert phenylalanine into tyrosine because they are missing the key enzyme, phenylalanine hydroxylase, which means in this situation, in PKU, tyrosine becometh an essential amino acid that you have to eat in the diet. Phenylalanine will give us tyrosine. Phenylalanine will give us tyrosine by phenylalanine hydroxylase. Tyrosine has options. As the late godfather Kevin Samuels used to say, men with options don't play these games. Look at this man, it has many options. It can help you make thyroxine in the thyroid hormone. It can help you make dopa, dopamine, nor epinephrine, epinephrine, i.e. the catecholamines, in nerve fibers or adrenal medulla. Only the adrenal medulla can make epinephrine. Tyrosine has other options. It can help you make melanin in the melanocytes of your skin. If you want to break down tyrosine, we go this pathway. Even then, it can give you fumarate and acetoacetate. Both of them are sources of energy for your body. Tyrosinemia is usually an autosomal recessive disease. I've told you before, when you hear the words autosomal recessive, two things need to pop into your head. Number one, consanguinity. People who marry their relatives in a tight-knit community. And number two, enzyme deficiencies are usually the culprit of the autosomal recessive disease. What are the enzymes that are deficient in tyrosinemia? Oh, ho, ho, we have a story. Let's keep it simple. Here's tyrosine. We want to take it to the cleaners, degrade it into inactive metabolites, or as medicosis calls them, pieces of trash. So are you ready to degrade tyrosine? Okay, I lied to you. These are not pieces of trash. Fumarate and acetoacetate are actually sources of energy. For example, fumarate can directly feed into the TCA cycle. Here's tyrosine. Here are the two pieces of trash. Let's follow the pathway, please. Tyrosine, by whatever enzyme, will give us P-hydroxyphenylpyruvate. Hydroxy means OH. Phenyl, because remember phenylalanine, and pyruvate. Oh, I know pyruvate. Oh, yeah, I know pyruvate. I've studied biochemistry before. And then by another enzyme, whatever its name might be, it will give us homogentesic acid. If you watched my previous video on alkaptonuria, of course, you are familiar with homogentesic acid oxidase, which is deficient in a disease known as alkaptonuria. Homogentesic acid oxidase will oxidize the homogentesic acid into malleal acetoacetic acid, which will be broken down into fumarel acetoacetate. 
femoral acetoacetate by an enzyme called femoral acetoacetate hydrolase. Break down the bond in the presence of hydro, water. Break down the bond into femorate and acetoacetate. Both of them are sources of energy. Okay, now let's name the enzymes. This enzyme right here is called tyrosine aminotransferase. Thank you so much. This enzyme right here is called 4-hydroxyphenylpyruvate dehydrogenase. What does a dehydrogenase do? It removes hydrogen, and by removing hydrogen, you're usually removing electrons. When you're removing the negative electrons, it means that you are oxidizing something. And just like there are two faces for the same coin, oxidation and reduction are two faces to the same chemical coin. So it's an oxidation reduction reaction or redox reaction in short. And what's the name of the enzyme right here? Femoral acetoacetate hydroxylase. Okay, these are the names of the enzymes. Tyrosinemia type 1 is a problem in femoral acetoacetate hydrolase. You know what they call the gene? They called it by the name of the protein or the enzyme. Fumarel acetoacetate hydrolase, FAH. Oh, fumarel acetoacetate hydrolase. How about tyrosinemia 2? Deficiency of tyrosine aminotransferase, TAT gene mutation. Oh, thank you, medicosis. How about this? 4-hydroxyphenylpyruvate dehydrogenase, HPD gene mutation is the culprit for tyrosinemia type 3. And if you recall from my video on Marfan syndrome, what was the defective protein? The defective protein was called fibrillin 1. And what was the name of the gene mutation? FBN1. What the flip does FBN stand for? Fibrillin 1. How about the BRCA gene mutation that can lead to breast cancer? Why do we call it BRCA? Literally, breast cancer. Cancer. I mean, I can understand when you make some mistakes on your exam, but mistakes like these when the name is actually the answer, like, how can I forgive you? If the exam question asks you about tyrosinemia, usually they will ask about tyrosinemia type 1. What's the name of the enzyme deficiency? Femoral acetoacetate hydrolase. Name the gene. F-A-H gene mutation. Mode of inheritance. Autosomal recessive. Hashtag consanguinity. Hashtag enzyme deficiency. What kind of consanguinity? Well, we see this disease in this particular region in Quebec, Canada. If this enzyme is missing, what's gonna happen? Say goodbye to fumarate, because if the block is here, everything after the block goes down, but everything before the block goes up. Okay, with that in mind, fumarate is toast, acetoacetate is toast. Your sources of energy are toast. What do you get? failure to thrive. And before the deficient enzyme, everything is going up. Tyrosine is going up. Phenylalanine is going up. Femoral acid as everything is going up. And they are accumulating in your liver until you get liver cell failure. If this disease is not diagnosed and treated early, failure for years and years and years increases my risk of hepatocellular carcinoma, repeated attacks of injury. A recent study suggested that people who drink very hot tea regularly for years and years and years and years increase the risk of throat cancer same idea repeated injury increases the risk of mutation which increases the risk of cancer another story repeated coitus through the intergluteal cleft for years and years and years increases the risk of anal squamous cell carcinoma Pathology is about concepts. Accumulation of femoral acetoacetate and tyrosine and phenylalanine in the kidney can also lead to kidney problems. Also, you can argue that the kidney disease here is due to hepatorenal syndrome. Possible. Accumulation of tyrosine or increased tyrosine in the urine will give it characteristic rancid butter odor. You can think of Gordon Ramsay yelling at the waiter. Hey, big boy, look, F me in my... 30 plus years in the culinary industry, I've never seen so much arrogance. The food was rancid. You need to take that risotto and shove it up your intergluteal cleft. Come on! Rancid butter odor of the urine equals tyrosinemia. Never ever forget this. If you want to detect a specific amino acid in the urine objectively, 
chromatography techniques. We can measure the enzyme assay. We'll find deficiency of femoral acetoacetate hydroxylase in tyrosinemia type 1. And of course, genetic studies for the FAH gene mutation, autosomal recessive pattern. Management, uh, decrease intake of uh, tyrosine and phenylalanine, which sometimes means decreased protein intake. Do you remember the medication that inhibits femoral acetoacetate hydrolase? Please refer to my video on alcaptinuria. It's the same medication. And when there is liver cell failure, liver transplant. Rancid butter order of the urine or skin equals tyrosinemia. To learn more about normal and abnormal urine odors, I have a specific video with this title in my lab's playlist. And I have another video with the title Abnormal Body Odors, where you will learn about more than 20 abnormal body odors and their clinical significance. To learn more about hepatocellular carcinoma, colon cancer, skin cancer, and much more, download my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectionalist.com. If you do not want to download my courses but would rather watch them right here on YouTube, click the join button, choose the highest tier for instant access to more than 300 premium videos right now. Please subscribe, hit the bell, smash like, support my channel here or here, go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases, or if you'd like me to personally tutor you. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.